Hey there everybody, welcome back. I am the Gerbil and today I want to show and explain the mechanics behind one of my favorite 3v3 teams. This one is kind of uh, a little known like power pro tip secret team uh, that just kind of lurks in the shadows, doesn't get used very often, but in a lot of circumstances it punches way, way above its weight. You need a Padme in the leadership spot, Grand Moff, Gideon, not Grand, just Moff Gideon, and then one other Galactic Republic support team. And this is how it basically goes down. This is my first time using the team, and my turn order was a little wrong. I really, I, I was not actually understanding the mechanics at the time. I didn't know what was happening, but I saw it on Swaga, and it had a really high win rate against CLS. I was like, how? And then right there, I was like, whoa what just happened we just like double tapped chewbacca and he went down or might have been chupio i'm not too sure and then um padme takes a turn and just says stun and r2 says die and i got 65 banners only lost one banner and i'm thinking this was just magic like just mind-blowing magic so i had i did some research and um figured it out and thought I would share how this works. So here we go, here's the mechanics. It's pretty simple, actually. Um, Moff Gideon will probably go first. He should be modded for speed, he should go first, and he will just passively apply Demoralize on the enemy team. Now that's not actually contributing to the win, but what that does do is give you some security that if you don't win quickly, it reduces the enemy's critical chance, critical damage, and offense. Their offense gets reduced by 50% because you don't have any attackers and you don't have any tanks on your team, this really helps to balance out the playing field to keep you alive longer and maybe eke out a win if, if this magic trick doesn't work. So what's the magic trick? Well, it starts like this. Gideon goes first and he uses his control the situation special. That's gonna strip off 100% of the enemy turn meter while granting your team 25% turn meter. That way you gain the initiative and you get to go next. At the same time, it's gonna pump up 100% protection, bonus protection on your team. Now, on Padme's leadership, it says at the start of their turn, meaning any Galactic Republic, at the start of their turn, they dispel that 100% protection up that they just received. And for each 5%, they gain a stack of courage. Do some quick math, that's 20 stacks of courage. So every Galactic Republic, Padme plus your additional support unit, each have 20 stacks of courage. What does courage do? When they damage an enemy, with uh with an ability basic special whatever for each five stacks of courage they dispel uh that that courage and it it hits the enemy for 40 percent of that target's maximum health so let's say your opponent has a hundred thousand health for each five stacks of courage you're hitting them for 40,000 damage, right? 40% of whatever they have. So if it pulls off 10 stacks of courage, you're hitting them for 80% of their health. 20 stacks of courage would drain them for, or hit them for 160% of their maximum health. That's pretty bonkers. Now with Padme, I recommend that you have a support as the third, and that's because her graceful assault will attack We'll call all allies with protection up to assist, including Jedi Knight Anakin, who's probably not there. So you want her to go second so that the other ally hasn't removed their, their protection up. So when they're called to assist, Padme is gonna do the massive amounts of damage through the removal of the courage stacks, draining the enemy probably down into the red, and if you're lucky, the assisting Galactic Republic is going to kill them. Then, the next Galactic Republic, the third ally in the team, takes their turn. They dispel their protection up, they gain their stacks of courage, and then they basically pounce on the other person. So if you can find another Galactic Republic who calls another assist, you might be able to win right there and have your full banners. Um, depending on the enemy, of course, there's three enemies, right? So it does depend on the enemy squad. So here's the turn order visualized real quick. So Moff Gideon, control the situation. Remove everybody's turn meter. Grant your team bonus turn meter. Support allies. Support allies. Gain 100% protection up. 
Padme, graceful assault, whacking somebody out of this world, calling an ally to assist, whoever it is, Isla, R2, Grandmaster Yoda, uh, I'm a Gundy, Shakti, uh, and who's the other one? I'm looking right at him and I can't think of his name. Ah, it'll come to me in a second. Hopefully you kill that target. Then the other Galactic Republic ally hopefully goes next. Bef um, should be modded faster than your enemies no matter what. I mean, because you get a 25% speed bonus. Do your little bit of damage and then the cycle repeats, but you don't get to use those, you know, until the cooldowns reset. So Gideon goes, armor shred whoever's left and, you know, do what you have to do. So one more time, just for the lulls. Here we go. Let's see it. I wish I had more recordings of these, but I don't. So control the situation. Bye bye. Turn meter protection up. R2 says, hey, Chupio, die. Okay, Padme says, I'll clean that up. Unfortunately, because we had to clean it up, there was no assist. She did consume some of her stacks of courage. Otherwise, right here, when we hit CLS, whack with the assist. We didn't get an assist, did we? I wonder, oh, because R2 didn't have the protection up. See that? That's why you want Padme to go second. That, my friends, is why you want Padme to go second. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it. Give it a try sometime in Grand Arena. It's a lot of fun. Um, just make sure that you're faster than your opponents so they don't kill Moff Gideon before he gets to control the situation. All right, you know the drill. Please hit the like, hit the sub, and you know, tell me what you think in the comments. And I will catch you all later on the Holotables. Bye-bye.